Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So it's going to be very, very interesting for me to see what the mic is going to be looking like in this room compared to back at university because as far as I can tell, there's not really an echo in here. It's quite contained and the, the sound seems quite compressed. So it might come out really well. I don't know. We'll just have to see. But today what we've got is a little haul video. Now I did do some footage back in Bangor round the charity shops and I never published that as a video. I don't think I got anything round the charity shops and I didn't really want to publish just a video of me going round the charity shops with that footage when I've not really picked anything up. But what I thought I would do instead of obviously just leaving the footage and, and letting it, I don't know, let, letting it gather dust or whatever, I'll put it in this video. So what I'm going to do is, first off, you're going to see some charity shop footage round Banger. Only a couple of minutes, just uh, kind of going round, seeing what we can see there. Uh, you can have a bit of a look at the charity shops at Banger as well, because uh, I know I, I don't think I've actually showed them on video, so that'll be a bit different. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come right back here, and we'll do the haul that I got today. Well, sorry, yesterday from... No. No two days ago now from crazy how quick the time goes two days ago now from Northwich and I got some you'll want to stick around for the haul because I got some nice little bits I only got a few items but what I did get was, was really really good so uh, and you will be very surprised at a couple of the items I saw them on the shelf and I thought what is going on why are these even in here um, so yeah, just stick around for that, but we'll be right back in a minute. Right guys, I am uh, heading off now, I'm just going down the stairs in the flats, and uh, it's a beautiful day in Bangor, I'll get a clip from somewhere anyway, but you can pop around, maybe not, but it is a beautiful day, so uh, I'm going to enjoy walking down, and uh, I'll just get some footage from each of the charity shops, put a bit of music over it, or maybe do a voiceover, I'm not sure. Um, and then come back and I'll probably tag the whole video onto the end of this video because it makes it easier. Uh, that's obviously if I get anything, but we'll see. So uh, also I have to, um, what else do I have to do? Oh, I want to get some trainers from somewhere as well, some cool trainers. So I'm going to do that as well. So here we are in Bangor, around the charity shops. I don't even know whether I've actually done a video uh, going around the charity shops in Bangor since I've been there. I might, I might have done once. But I know that obviously we've had the lockdown for, for so long, even in Wales. And uh, yeah, I've just not been able to get round. But it was really good uh, on the latter part of semester two when I could obviously go round them. Uh, and I just wanted to show you, I didn't want to waste this footage. I wanted to show you around a few of the charity shops. To be honest, although there is probably about 10 or 12 charity shops in Bangor, they're really not all that good. Um, I don't know about the clothing and things like that clothing sellers you could maybe tell me who live in that sort of area but for me for the media for certain different things even for like antiques and stuff like that it, it didn't really seem to be that good so what i'm going to do is i'll just leave you here uh, you can have a look around the charity shops here uh, for a minute longer what i will do as well is add some footage of um banger i think i might have some footage of banger somewhere so i'll add that onto the video and then we'll get back and we'll do the haul uh, for, of course, the, the stuff that I got from Northwich. But as you can see, plenty of things on offer in the charity shops. But just to be honest, for me, uh, there was never anything really that stood out massively. So, hi guys, we are back and I'm going to now get on with the haul. So, I've got a few bits and bobs behind me on the bed and without further ado, I will get the first one up. 
So, to start with, we have this little Elmer uh, book set here, as you can see. It's got about um, 10 books in, I think. Now, I don't know exactly how many this book set should have. Um, you can see, I know it's a bit glary. I'm still yet to work out the lighting setup. I'm going to try and do something about it. Fact is, I have to close the blinds so that then that doesn't come in and all the rest of it. So, we'll have to try and just work out a lighting setup. But yeah, there are the books there. All different styles of books. There's another one on the back there, Elmo again. Um, I think I read these when I was a kid. I, I can't remember exactly or... I certainly, was there a TV show? Maybe I watched the TV show or something, but I definitely distinctively rem remember Elmo anyway. So, uh, yeah, that's those. Now, I paid three quid for them, and I was thinking, should I buy them, should I not? I looked in the, in the uh, when I was in the store, I looked on Complete and Sold, and I think one had gone for, like, 10 quid plus three quid postage or something. Maybe there was one that went a little bit more than that and then one that went a little bit less. So I thought, you know what, let's uh, grab those. And that was the cheapest item I picked up all day, like in terms of sales value. Because you know me, I don't really like picking up. I mean, as I say, £10 plus post will be my minimum. But uh, really, I like picking up £15, £20 plus items, at least these days, because... There's just not really any point in me picking up anything less. I've picked up the odd item that's like six to eight quid. If it's a jiffy bag job, I don't mind that. That's okay. Um, but certainly if it's going to be in a box or something, like, I don't see... Personally, I don't see the point of... And this is just from a lot of trial and error for me. But I don't see the point in doing anything that's like five quid plus post or anything like that. The only exception is if you get it in a job lot. If you get it in a big job lot, then you may as well whack it on. Because you've got it in the job lot, it's a bit of extra money. But I wouldn't go out of my way, and I don't think anyone else particularly should, unless you've got a good reason for it. Like, for example, maybe you just need to do those items for a time because you just need some money coming through the door. There we go, that's a, a decent enough reason. But, you know, if you can, go for the slightly higher, over £10 items, that's what I'd say. But yeah, that's that one there anyway. So, next item here is one of the cool items, the good items. Um, you can see here, it is a N Nintendo Game Boy. It is uh, the 1989 version, uh, DMG-01, uh, um, which is like, I think, one of the model numbers. Now, don't ask me which one's good, which one's not good. I can't remember any of that stuff. Um, but yeah, it is a Game Boy um it's original Game Boy anyway, 1989, and uh, yeah, I was surprised to find this on the shelf there for two quid. You can probably just about make that out there. Two pound on the shelf. Now, I didn't know what these go for. Obviously, I knew I was going to pick it up at two quid. Um, it looks on eBay. I mean, obviously, again, they're all over the place and stuff. I actually found one because I wanted to try and find one that was spares or repairs just so that then we could get like the base sort of price even if this wasn't working because I've not turned it on or anything like that. It might not be working. Some people donate them to the charity shops obviously when they're not working and so it could be the case. But one had gone on complete and sold, spares or repairs. Um, but it was kind of it kind of turned on but it wasn't working uh, and it had gone for 35 quid which I was amazed at really because i thought spares or repairs might be like 20 quid or something um but yeah so that could be very much 35 quid i think there was other ones that were working that had gone for about 50 um but of course they had different things with them may have had a charge a, a game something like that this one doesn't have a charger or anything uh it might be advisable for, for me to kind of buy a charger put it with it but but I don't know. I'm not certain what I'm going to do. I do need a charger though if I'm going to test it and stuff. So it might be worth going down like CEX or cash generators in town. See if they've got anything down there. And see if I can buy something for cheap there. And then I could always sell it with it anyway. Um, but yeah, so that was really good anyway for two quid. I was amazed to see that on the shelf. And I, I, I couldn't believe it to be honest. So uh, yeah, we will see on that one anyway. It's going to be a good one. So next, I picked up a camera bag. Now, this has just got some uh, leftover stuff in, some lens, you know, some of the kind of, uh, not lenses, but what you, lens covers and things like that in. I've had them quite a lot before. You can see them there as well. These are just leftover stuff. Uh, there's another, there's about three or four different 
lens covers and stuff in here. Um, now, I've taken all the lenses out of the bag and the camera as well. Oh, you'll want to know how much I paid for it as well, won't you? That, that would be helpful if I can even get it up. Five quid there, as you can see. So, uh, I paid five quid for that. I'll show you the, the lenses and the body I got for five quid. It was it was a it was a steal really. Uh, this is practi This is the weird thing though. I used to pick these up and it, you, it didn't have an R on it. You see that R? It's got like practicar, but it used to be practica, not practicar. So I don't know what that is. I don't know whether that's a different make or whether it's a. I think more likely it's probably a different variant of the same make. Uh, but I don't know why it has the R on. I've never seen that before. Now this seems like it's a fairly basic uh, lens, it's probably going to go for about a fiver plus post, maybe a little bit more. Uh, it is a Practicar, uh, Pentacon, um, 50 equals uh, 50 millimeters, uh, da, da 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 all that information on there. And uh, yeah, you know, five quid plus post, you know, not, not a crazy lens, there's another better lens in here actually. We've also got this thing, uh, a pra see there we go, that's not got the R on. I don't know whether you can see that very well there. Oh, I don't know whether it's going to come up actually. Maybe if I take myself out of the shot. There we go. Practica. It's not got the R on, so I don't know. It must. I think it's the same brand though. Um, and yeah, so that's that one. That is a, a B winder. Now these have gone all over the place. There's one that's gone for like 99p on auction, and then there's one that's gone for about 14.99. One that's gone for about. 8.99, 9.99, and one that's gone for 20 quid, 19.99. So I don't know; it's all over the place. Probably between 12.99 and 14.99 is, is probably more about right. I think 19.99 is shooting, and I think maybe anything less than a tenner is a little bit low. Um, so I'm going to try for around that. But yeah, that's that one there anyway. So this is the best lens out of the lot. I don't know whether there's a little cap with this or not. I'll have to double check. Um, but again, same brand. Um, and this has on it on the side there Carl now. I don't know how you pronounce that this this or something Carl this Z E I S S uh, Jenna and I typed it in anyway the, the stuff on on the win there and uh, It's going for about 30 quid. There's one gone for 27 quid on bids There's one gone for 29.99 on buy it now and there's another one gone for a bit less than that, about nineteen ninety nine. But I think I'm going to go for around the thirty quid, twenty four ninety nine to thirty quid. I think on that one, twenty nine ninety nine. Um, and yeah, so that's really good. That gets all my money back and some well into profit on the fiver. And as you can see, I've got other stuff there, so it so it was really good that one. And then we've got another lens, and we've got the body. I'll probably separate the lens and the body. The body is a Practica B one hundred probably like a £10 body plus post, something like that. And then we've got another lens here, which is a larger lens. I think that, again, was maybe about 10 quid. It was around the 10 quid. It might be it might be able to get a, a smidge more than that, but not much more. So, I mean, there, again, with that little body set up there and, and this lens as well, uh, we're looking over 20 quid for the two there. So, that was pretty good. So, I think all in all, with the uh, camera, we're looking at about, uh, what we were saying on that, 14.99 on that, 5 on that, let's say 24.99 on that. And, uh, it's about 45 quid, 20 quid. Yeah, we're looking about 65 quid out of a fiver. So I am I'm happy with that. But we have one more item. And if you are you were following me or if you are following me on Instagram, link will be down below or my little handle will be down below. You know, just a little plug there, getting it in. Um, and if you are following me on Instagram, you will know what this item is. And you'll be amazed when I pull it up. You'll think, oh my God. Um, and it was in the same charity shop as the, the other one I got. And what it is? Another Game Boy. Yes, that is right. It's a Nintendo Game Boy Original 1989 for the same price. I kid you not, the same price. We got two of them. We've got two of them. I can't believe it. Blow it off. No, no, no. We've got two of them. I can't believe it. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's like a minimum again, another 30, 35 quid, even if it's like spares repairs job. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really, really happy with that. Uh, four quid and I've got some, some good money there. Um, so I've, I've paid, how much have I paid for this night? The Alma books are free. 
this was four, that's seven, camera is five, that's 12. Let's say I can get like 60 quid on these conservatively, something like that. Um, then that's uh, 60 quid. On the camera, that's 100, uh, 125, 65 plus 60. Then on the Elmer books, let's say just a tenner, um, that's 135 out of 12 quid. I'm happy with that. 135 quid out of 12 quid spent. Uh, so sales price 135, of course, postage in X is, is not included in that. That'd be on top of the sale price, but then obviously it just comes off anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with that. That's a good little, uh, good little investment, good little turnaround in terms of sale price. So that being said, I won't ramble any longer. We've got, God, we've already been, how do I do this? We, it felt like about two minutes that, and it's already on 13 minutes. Anyway, we're going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Don't forget, if you haven't already, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. I don't normally say that anymore because, well, you know, people will subscribe if you want to. If you don't want to, if you don't want to, you know, it's cool. Um, but, yeah, if you want to, the button's down there. Um, also, I don't know whether memberships are going to be live at the moment. But if memberships are alive, then do consider becoming a member. Go on the little join thing on the uh, ho homepage of the channel and just have a check through the perks. See if it's something you'd like or, or you wouldn't like, whatever. Um, but I don't know. The, the memberships might not be live yet. I might not have done it yet. There's, there's still things at the moment, of uh, currently as recording this video, uh, that I've got to sort out with it. A few different bits and bobs. Um, it's not been too hard, actually, to set up the the whole membership thing, it's been alright, but I just wanted to make sure that the perks are good, I wanted to make sure that uh, I'd, I'd got things square, I needed to make sure that I'd uh, done the merch designs nicely, and I'm still waiting on the samples of those, so that's why I'm uh, uh, delaying the membership a little bit, and I've, I've been working on a few different images and stuff for the promotion video, and you know, all these little bits and bobs that add up, so I want to make sure it's right, so it might not be out yet, it might not be live, but if it isn't live, there we go, memberships will be coming uh, probably in the next few weeks, uh, that's all I can say at this point, um, but yeah, I'll leave it there, thank you very much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.